Are you over 50 years old? Like me, have you come to the realization that you likely have fewer years ahead of you than you've already lived? Are you wondering, what the hell happened? How did I get here? <laughs> but seriously, I'm wondering, do you spend time thinking about all the joy of the past decades, such as raising your children, attending weddings and graduations, vacations, and your own personal accomplishments? Or do you tend to focus more on the things that did not happen? The career path you didn't take, the places you've never traveled to, the goals you haven't met, the one who got away. I think as people get older, they tend to be sad because they feel like they've missed out on some of these important milestones that society has said that you're supposed to experience, such as going to college, falling in love, getting married, buying a house, being a certain body weight, having children, making a ton of money, having a huge group of friends traveling the world. If you weren't able to do one or more of these milestones, you may be feeling that you are missing something, that you're not good enough, not accepted, or not fully experiencing life. Well, on one hand, I wanna say, who made these dumb rules anyway? Who says you have to do any of those things? But the fact is, it is understandable if you're wistful and maybe even feeling melancholy when you think of the past, because the reality is it is too late to do some things. You're not gonna become a heart surgeon or an elite tennis player or an astronaut or a billionaire. Time is finite. Ah, that would make anybody feel gloomy. I started to wonder, why was I so much happier in my youth? Okay, yes, a huge reason is because I didn't have serious responsibilities. I hadn't suffered too much disappointment or loss, but I thought there might be something more to this. What were those simple things that made me happy? What are the simple things that made you happy? Because maybe we can integrate those into our current routines and feel more joy. Because we ain't got time to be brokenhearted and depressed and be reminiscing for the next 30, 40, 50 years. So if you are already feeling this way, let me try to get you out of that funk. Be grateful, be present, they say, but that's really just too abstract, too esoteric. What you need are real concrete ways to bring you back to that joy you felt as a child. You need some ways to reclaim your joy in the midst of the aging process. So I thought to myself, what were those things that brought me joy as a child? playing outside, watching Saturday morning cartoons, family vacations, riding my bike, baking cookies, singing in my church choir, summer camp and sleepovers, candy and Christmas. And then I started wondering, but how can these joyful moments from my childhood be integrated into my life now? Because I loved watching the Jetsons like all the other kids growing up in the 70s, but would watching George and Jane make me happy now? Before I continue, I want you to take out a sheet of paper and write down all the things that made you happy as a child. So go ahead, pause the video here and try to write down at least 10 things. Okay, ready? Go. Did you do that? What I discovered when I looked at my list was that all these moments of joy fit into five specific categories. Health slash carefree, family, friends, community, learning, fun slash anticipation, and just because. Now the first category is health and being carefree. And I put these two together because somehow they just seem to go together. But also as an adult, if you are not either physically or emotionally healthy, you can't really feel carefree. If you're obese or exhausted or grieving, you're not gonna find as much joy in riding your bike or hiking or doing pottery. So addressing your mental health or your physical health is necessary. If you're holding a grudge against someone or angry at someone, you can't feel carefree. As adults, one step or the first step to feeling carefree is to address our physical and mental health issues. So lose the weight, get proper sleep, lift the weights, move your body, eat plants, go to therapy, forgive, be authentic, or whatever you need to do so that you can feel carefree. The next category is friends, family, community. Now as a child, I had my family, I had my friends, classmates, friends at Sunday school, friends from camp, etc. I had groups of people in my life, 
I wasn't alone. If you are not too close to your family or don't have many close friends, it's really important to form your own community. Being lonely can have such negative implications on your physical and mental well-being. So join a church or a professional organization or a hiking club or just go volunteer. Or if you need to, create your own group. Create a book club with your neighbors or a walking group. Something so you can make connections and build friendships. The next category is learning. Now, of course, I was a student and enjoyed certain subjects, but I also sang in the choir, took art classes, took piano lessons, swimming lessons. I learned about our family history, our traditions. I learned about other countries and our travels. Learning as an adult is not only social, but the mental stimulation enhances neuroplasticity, which enhances your overall cognitive performance. So read more books, learn a language, take up photography. What other ways can you think of that can enhance your learning? The next category is fun and anticipation. I loved summer camp and I loved Christmas. Half the year I yearned for Christmas, half the year I yearned for summer camp. I had so much fun bike riding and baking cookies and watching cartoons. Are you including fun in your life right now? As an adult, I love playing tennis, drawing, traveling, content creation. What can you build into your schedule to build anticipation? The mere act of looking forward to a future event can create optimism and positively influence your well-being. Sorry about the camera. So what can you plan? A nice dinner out next weekend, a spa day, a hike, a vacation? And the final category is just because. Now, adults can too often fall into predictable routines and let go of that childlike wonder that we all once had. What did you love as a child? Was it Lego or swimming in the lake? Did you love making s'mores over a campfire or going on swings, eating mouthfuls of caramel popcorn? <laughs> stomping in puddles? Who says that adults can't do these things? What can you do just because? Because if you can find things to fit into these five categories, I guarantee you that you will start to feel happier because the reality is as children, we lived so much more in the present. We didn't spend our days wishing we were three, year old, three years old again or worrying about getting into med school. When I realized I was spending too much time thinking about the things that I didn't get to experience in life or the disappointments or the regrets, I knew I had to change. I still have 50 years left on this planet. By golly, I want to enjoy them. So no, I won't be opposite Serena Williams in a grand slam, but I can take tennis lessons once a week and I can enjoy them. I won't be performing heart surgery, but I can feel a deep sense of accomplishment when I become bilingual. I can also learn to snowboard, I can move abroad, I can eat ice cream for dinner, I can start a business, I can fall in love, I can publish a book. There are so many things that sound so fun and amazing that I get excited just thinking about them. Yes, you're getting older, but you are blessed. You have the eyesight and the hearing to watch this video. You likely own the phone or the computer that you're watching this on, and you're in a safe location. You have freedom. You are blessed. My friend, each day is a gift, so let's try to appreciate each and every one of them. Make that list and create the life that you want to live. Please tell me in the comments, what is on your list? What brings you joy? I can't wait to hear. If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe, but also share it with a friend. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.